guys um i want to just come quick on this on this video and show y'all how to make uh, the brush cleanup after you use for acrylics now um not all the time you all have to clean that brush this way but when you do have to clean that brush real good especially to get glitter out or um colored acrylic out of that brush uh, I'm just going to show you how quick what you need. Okay, you just need an empty container like this, $1.25, with this kind of screw-off lid. Make sure that you label it um, brush cleaner. You're going to need um, acetone and monomer. Now, I know a lot of people are saying, like, I'm not going to use my monomer for some brush cleaner. But I know everybody got some old monomer that they choose not to use because they didn't find a different brand and I have a lot of monomers that I don't even use anymore because I got a Pacific brand that I use and I know you tried more monomer than a little bit so monomer that you don't use anymore you can even go on you can just go on any site and buy a cheap monomer that don't cost you that much money we're not talking about monomer that's $20 and $30. They do have monomer out there that's really, really cheap to clean the brush with. But you do need monomer to stabilize that brush back to make it feel soft again. And that's what the monomer do. It keeps it clean. And you can just use that monomer. You can just use straight monomer if you want to. But I just feel that the brush is not as clean, especially if it dried up. Uh, you know, you're moving real fast and you set your brush somewhere and they still had acrylic in it and you wind up it that brush wind up getting real real hard and that happens sometimes you have you know so I just got some monomer that I do not use and some acetone and a bottle and what I do I pretty much use half acetone and half of monomer and that's what I do. I just put that and then I mix this with it. However you want to do it. I don't mind putting more monomer than acetone because acetone is really not good for the brush. And that's basically my brush cleanup. And that's really not a lot of monomer. They're really not a lot of monomer. And I don't use this monomer anymore because it's really, really is a dark monomer. And it actually kind of tints the clear acrylic. So I only use it. I had a big bottle of it that, you know, I don't even use it because I don't like the way it tints the clear monomer. I mean the clear powder. And that's my brush cleaner right there. The acetone is in there to break up all that bad, you know, all that bad, um, acrylic that's left in your brush and I don't think I have a dirty brush you can tell that your brush is clean when you can do this and you can do all your all your bristles come My, you see your brush feels stick tacky that meaning that that brush is not really clean you still got some residue residue from doing nails and sometimes I want a fresh brush when I do a set of nails you see how this brush is real stiff and when I do that it's not flowing it's not really flowing and when I tell you flowing I'm gonna get a container here and you really just need something small like that to hurry up and wash your brush make sure you give it a good shake so the the acetone and the monomer is dispersed evenly. You put a little bit in there. You don't need much. Now you see how that brush kind of stick together. Now I'm going to clean it. You clean your brush, you dip like this, and you go to the side. Now look how that that monomer changed colors. It don't even have that purple tint in there anymore. And don't ask me why I did that. <laughs> Uh, 
Okay, now this is the brush. Let's see if it's clean enough. Now you see how it just opens up like that? That's where you know you have a clean brush. Then after you clean it, you go in with straight monomer when you're about to do nails. Okay, you put a little monomer in there. Now just pretend like I'm going to do a set of nails. And I'm conditioning my brush back so it can come back to the point that I want from the conditioning of that. And really you're just getting that brush with that acetone that you clean your brush out, out of your brush. You go back to that point. You do like this with it. And your brush is maintained. It's real nice. It's real clean. Ready for application. And if you're not using it, you can store it. You know? This one is still kind of sticky. And that's basically what I do. And that's a flex brush, y'all. A flex brush. Clean this one and clean this one too. While I'm at it. Check it and see if it's clean. It's flowing. You see how easy it opens up? Then I will just condition it back up with a little monomer. Don't need much. And what I'm doing, I'm just really just taking out some of that acetone that was in that cleaner and condition the brush back. Bring it back to a point and your brush is clean, ready for service. So that's how I clean my acrylic brushes, y'all. Just a little short video. Thank y'all for tuning in. Until next time, y'all have a smiley day. Bye.